Uh, beep bop beep beep beep. Ho ho! Hey friends! As always, get ready to learn and create with me, Wimmy! Today, we sing, we write. Brody's in the Wimmage Lab. Brad is here for language explorers for Swahili translations. Bridget from GRPL is here for Explore and Create. Oh man, Rhonda with Learn With Me in the CTC. Find it fast. Oh man, all kinds of stuff. Are you guys ready? Ha ha ha, I'm ready. You ready? You right there. I'm so glad to see you and you and you and all of you. Ha 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 ha. Today's theme is zippers. Zippers. Right, you know the song, one, two, buckle my shoe. Have you seen shoes that you can zip? Zip, there's like Velcro, there's shoe strings, there's all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna change it. Instead of buckle my shoe, it's gonna be zip. Ready? One, two, zip my shoe, two, wait, not two, I said two. Let me start over uh, from the top. One, two, zip my shoe, three, four, close the door, five, six, pick up sticks, Seven, eight. Oh, we need some words, friends, that rhyme with eight and ten. Okay, so you got to rhyme for eight or ten. So from the top, and then we'll flow right into eight and ten. Are you ready? Here we go. From the top. One, two, zip my. Oh, I got another. Watch this. Watch what I'm going to do here. Ready? One, two, zip my shoe. Three, four, zip the floor. Five, six, zip the tricks. Seven, eight. Zip, ho, 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 what rhymes with eight? All right, friends, we need a word that rhymes with eight. Now, don't be late <laughs> as you come up with the rhymes. Otherwise, I got to sit here and wait while you come up with some words that rhyme with eight. If you're late, then, um, then we're in trouble. Hmm, yeah. Oh, we got it, gate. <laughs> okay, S uh, seven, eight, zip the gate. <laughs> They should put zippers on gates. That would be kind of a cool way to just be like, zip. Oh, okay, uh, Nate. Okay, ready? Um, seven, eight, zip up, Nate. <laughs> you might be like, hey, Nate, just zip it. Oh, 10, nice, okay. Okay, nine, 10, zip the den. That would be, that's pretty fun. Imagine if the doorway had zippers. Wait, that's called the tent. Oh, ho, ho! we could have a den that's made out of a tent. What do you think of that? Oh, pen. Okay. Nine, ten, zip the pen. Oh, look it. I got a pen right there. And I could just go zip, 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 while I write a story. <laughs> oh, man. This is fun. Thanks, friends. We'll finish up with skate. Okay. Seven, eight, zip the skate. That works. D right? Do they have skates that you can zip up? I bet they do. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> friends, as always, keep the song going. Write, draw, sing. Okay, wait. Oh, <laughs> that's my new friend. Um, anyways, let's go to uh, see what Moby's got for us today. Uh, I wanted to share a word with you today. Interlocking. Interlocking. This word means having parts that fit or lock together, like a zipper does. Zippers have teeth that lock together when you pull the tab that slides up and down. <laughs> the teeth are interlocking. Mm -hmm. What are some other things that are interlocking? Mm -hmm. Puzzles. Puzzles have interlocking pieces. What else? Mm, that is a good question. What are some other things? that interlock. Let us know if you want to share any ideas in the show. Friends, it's time for today's three sentence story, beginning, middle, end. And the three words come from you. <laughs> in the first sentence, we set the scene. In the second sentence, there is a problem. Oh, but don't worry, friends, because in the third sentence, we always get to the solution. That's right. So, Share a, share a word. Uh, we love nouns, person, place, or thing. And uh, sometimes the stories are silly. Sometimes they're kind of realistic. Sometimes they're emotional. It's like, oh no, oh, oh man. So let's find out how today's story begins. Ooh, using the word book. All right, first word, book. 
All right. I sat down in my favorite chair looking forward to reading a book about... Ooh, tell me, friends, you, you add this detail. What is the book about? We'll add that. We'll revise the sentence later with your ideas. So I sit down in my corner, uh, my favorite chair, and um, I'm ready to read a book about... Okay, so then in the second sentence, there's a prob... Ooh, the book's about Canada. Yes, I love it. Okay, I'm going to learn about some things up in Canada. All right. But then there's a problem. No! So, our second word is map. Ho oh, ho! Thanks, Kylie. Um, the problem is going to be with map. Okay, got it. I sat down in my favorite chair and I was ready to read my favorite book about Canada. I looked on the map on page two and realized I couldn't find Toronto. Oh no! This map is printed wrong! It's a map of Canada, and Toronto's not on it. This is a problem. How do we solve this problem? Uh, moon. Ha, 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 indeed. Okay, Moon's going to help us out. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll figure this out. Don't worry, friends. The Moon. Let's see. The Moon's up in space. Toronto. Okay, okay, I got it. From the top. I sat down in my favorite chair, and I was ready to read my favorite book about Canada. I looked on page one on the map and realized, oh no, Toronto was not printed on this map. I looked out the window, and an astronaut coming down from the moon was bringing a reprinted edition of the book with Toronto now on the map. Still brings up the question of on uh, the first editions. We got to correct all those or notify people. So it kind of it kind of helps us moving forward. But we still got these old copies. It's a little more complex today, but we'll 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 keep uh, keep thinking about it. I like that though. Uh, somebody came from the moon. And they just so happened to know that I needed a new map. All right, I got it, friends. Let's go to Brody in the Granville Wimage Lab to see. Oh, thanks, Danny. Let's see what we got for the the Wimage today. Hey, Brody, what do you think? Could a, could someone come from the moon and deliver a book with the correction to the map? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that sure. You know, sometimes as a writer, sometimes the writing just flows, and other days you kind of think, hmm, well. I, I guess that's a good rough draft. You got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, does that vest have a zipper? Yeah. It looks good. So, uh, I'm just, Ooh, let, let's see yeah. if we can hear it. It's a little tough, though. Oh. I totally heard it. It's got a nice sound to it, zippers. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes they... Oh, you can make like a little song. Zip, 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 zip. I just about... <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you got for today's women? So, the astronaut is on the moon, and his flag is the map. Oh, nice. And you're wearing a jacket with a zipper. Nice. And the book that's all about Canada. Nice. Yeah. Have you ever been to, to, to Toronto? Or are you familiar with Toronto much? Me neither. I've never been there. I'd love to go there. Um, yeah, and sometimes this is a real thing. That map sometimes get in, incorrectly printed. And that's, yeah. that's not cool, right? And sometimes things change, and then the maps need to be updated. So there's a lot of real life applications here, I think. But um, friends at home, if you want to make your very own Wimage, you can download it for free in the Apple Store. And just like Brody did, enter the words, you can speak it or type it, and then you change the image, the color, the design. Uh, friends at home, could we add anything to it? Let's see, we got the moon. Ooh, a pet bird. Yeah, so let's do bird. Bird. Bird, bird, bird is the word. <laughs> That's so true. I mean, which one yeah. do you want to do? Okay, I'm looking. Uh, oh, yeah, I like that one. Okay. Where, where should we put the pet bird? Uh, what do you think, Brody? Uh, ooh. 
have a great place. Oh, ho, ho, I have my shoulder. <laughs> I love it. Well, thanks, Brody. Uh, we'll check back with you later. If you have any updates to the, the, the design, we'll, we'll check in and see. Ho, ho, friends, we get to find out today how to say today's words in Swahili. It's time for a language explorers, and Mr. Brad is here. Hey, Mr. Brad. Hello, Winnie. <laughs> so, we got some stories. We got moons. We got zippers. We got birds. We, we got lots of things today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what, let's see. So the first word. Is book. Kitabu. Book. Kitabu. Kitabu. I like it. So the next word is map. Ramani. 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 Not, not ramen noodles. Ramani. Got it. Ramani. <laughs> Then the next one we have is moon, wizzy, wizzy. That's so cool. That's my favorite for today of the three. Because I just love how words sound and how you feel when you hear, you hear them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, ooh, uh, look at that, uh, uh, Brad, getting shout outs, all your cool information. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, what do you think about maps? When you were growing up, did you like maps, or were you indifferent to maps? Nili bende kuti zama ramani sana ile ramani ya zamani kwenye karatasi. Hizi zaman hi ramani ya siku hizi sipende kwa simu ya mkononi. I said that I love to look at maps as a kid. The old ones that were on the paper. I said, nowadays, I don't really like the maps that are on cell phones as much. I prefer the old fashioned maps where you can yeah. look at them and pour over the details. I, I think it's easier when you have a, a, you know, a map on paper to look at all the intricate yeah. spots. And if yeah. they're a map that have topography on them or different um, vegetation indications, I can just see all that so vividly on the paper map. I hear you, man. That's so cool. Maps can show lots of things, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, oh, man, you're right. So cool. The streets, the heights, the depths, the waters, the, the details. Wow. Um, I was just going to ask you, um, as you, you work at the library, and in the story today, the problem I came up with is that, oh, no, the map's wrong, right? Books sometimes change and need to get updated and revised, right? <laughs> Yeah, yep. So what my job here at the library, actually, we me is I'm the cataloging specialist. So one of my duties at the library is to make sure we have updated information when it comes to maps or or books about information that's changing all the time. So I'm very familiar with the importance of keeping things up to date. I love it. So my story was at first I was kind of like, hmm, this one needs work, but now I'm starting to think I'm onto something with this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Brad. We will see you at today's party. Ba 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 doo ba ba. Friends, it's time for Explore and Create with GRPL. Hey, Bridget. Hi, Wimmy. <laughs> what do we get to learn and create today? Well, when I saw that today's theme was all about zippers, I thought about how do zippers work? So I remember Moby said that zippers work by opening, closing, interlocking teeth. Yeah. Well, did you know that part of the zip, part of what opens a zipper up and down is a wedge? And a wedge is a simple machine, which led me to our nonfiction section with this book all about simple machines. Wheels, Levers, and Pulleys oh. by David A. Adler. So cool. So, and a wedge is something that is very thin on one end and very thick on an, uh, on the other. Oh. So, for example, an axe is a wedge. Yeah. Scissors are actually a pair of wedges. Whoa. Your teeth are even wedges when you bite down and eat food. So, that leads us to today's experiment. Just to see how wedges work move things. So Sweet. I have some Play-Doh. I haven't opened it yet, but I have some Play-Doh here. Okay. And then I have some things that I'm going to try to cut our Play-Doh with. So I have some scissors. 
I have a plastic knife. I have a coffee stirrer that is still in its plastic, um, in its paper. I have a pencil, a piece of yarn, Whoa. and my hand. Whoa. So, so what you can do, oh, and you can do this actually with anything squishy. But I just happen to have some Play-Doh here. But if you don't have Play-Doh at home, anything squishy will work. Okay. I'll just get a little Play-Doh out. <laughs> so we'll see like how it, so we'll try different things to see how wedges work. Do scissors work? I did. It works really well. Does a piece of yarn work? I'm gonna do this off the screen. Okay, that's kind of like flossing. Does it? Okay. So is a piece of yarn a wedge? That's a good question. I don't know, but I can find out. And then you can try a lot of other things to see how well they work. I just tried my hand. It didn't work so well. Oh, did it smush it a little bit? Like, it just smushed it to yeah. the side, but it didn't cut it in half. It just made it flat. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah. So you can try this with a whole bunch of other things. These are just a few things. You can try to see how many items in your house are wedges? So, huh. I wonder if, limitless. I like a, maybe a toothpick? I'm thinking, what else? Maybe a toothpick some, work. Um, um, our toes? You could try your toes. You could even try to bite it, but I don't recommend that with Play Doh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah you that, would not, that would not be very nice. Yeah. Maybe try that on like a cookie or a sandwich instead of Play Doh. That's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, but then you get get my kind of messy. Yeah, oh, man. Well, that's so cool. What was the name of the book again? You said you had a cool book about the it's called Wedges Simple the... Machines: Wheels, Levers, and Pulleys by David A. Adler. Wow! So you can wedge. learn all about wedges and the other types of simple machines out there. I love it. Thank you so much, Bridget. I love it. I'm gonna go look around the house and see what I can find, and I'm gonna go. Ooh, I wonder if a pen is that a wedge? Hmm. Friends. It's time to see what Sibley's got for today's Lapping with Sibley. What did the quiet tent say to the loud tent? Sip it! <laughs> uh, sip it, please. <laughs> it's good to be polite. That is nice advice there, Sibley. Friends, we're going to keep learning. It's time for Learn With Me in the CTC. Hi, Miss Rhonda. Good afternoon. I almost said good morning. Wow. <laughs> I hear you. Okay. So um, theme today is zippers. And so as an occupational therapist, I teach people how, well, one of the things I do is teach people how to zip because it's an everyday living skill. And sometimes zippers are hard to learn because yeah. we have to, um, it's a visual motor and eye hand. So I'm going to show you some things that I use to get to the point where somebody could zip their zipper. So, um, the first thing I pulled out, and I don't know, I got this off my um, bread. Yeah. Uh, my yeah, the bread bag. Yeah. So not the yeah, not the wire twist. And I have this ribbon, Ooh. and I put it through like this. Okay. So uh, now I, of course, it's not going to go in easy because everybody's looking. <laughs> but that's kind of what happens sometimes with zippers. Right? Is you're like, wait a minute. And then you just keep working at it. This is true. So what happens is I have the same motion. Yeah. I'm pinching and I'm pulling. <gasps> yeah. uh, I think you said you like zipper sounds. Maybe oh, you can hear it. I do hear yeah. it. Nice. Okay. Oh, I so. Like it. The other trick that I do, I take a piece of cardboard and I take some duct tape and I have people here. I'm going to go down. Okay. So I have people practice putting the paper through. Ooh. So I'm 
getting my eyes and my hands to work together and I'm learning where to put this part of the zipper yeah. when I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. So another trick that I do sometimes, and I'm hoping you can see this, is yep. I color, I took a marker and I made this red. Oh yeah. So now I can see I want the red to go inside the zipper. Yep. So that's another way I practice. And then I was thinking, um, I work with uh, kids that are in school and sometimes it's really hard to stand in line when we have to wait outside to go into the school. Yeah. So I had this fidget that I made. I took a pipe cleaner with some beads and I put them on. Oh, let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I would put this through the zipper and loop it. Whoa. So when I have to stand in line and my teacher wants me to be able to listen and stand quietly, mm -hmm. now I have a fidget and I can move the beads yeah. to keep myself busy. I love it. That is so cool. that, it's right on the zipper. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it's just a little fidget because sometimes <laughs> not everybody can stand still. Well, I think it's cool that it's, I, I would like to get one of those made, for, I think, for my jacket. And it probably helps when you zip and unzip. It gives you more to grasp, grasp onto. This is true. This is true. So that was such a good idea. You know what? I'm still um, thinking about the information from Bridget, and there's a wedge. And I am really studying the inside of my zipper to figure out how that works. <laughs> I just really found that so interesting. And I have to say, Brad was impressive with his Swahili language. I just love this team doing the show, working together, all of us. It's, so I, cool. I learned so much on this show, by the way. So cool. Well, I'm going to use your fidget, or I'm going to use the fidget yeah. just so we have a complete, oh, of course, there. There, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. I love it. I love it. Miss Rhonda, thank you so much. You inspired me, and I bet people are going to try a lot of these ideas. Maybe. We'll see you at the dance party. All right. <laughs> so cool. Man, hey, let's go see what Brody's got if he has an update on the Wimage. Hey, Brody, you got it? And maybe he was watching the show. I'm not sure. Um, Brody, were you watching the show or working on the Wimage? Uh, both. Yeah. Any updates to the, to the that you want to share? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. So, Tell us what we see. There's, so I made the map different on the book. Nice. I added uh, a cloud and the sun, and I had some balloons, and I gave you some wings. Whoa! That is so cool. Man, that'll help when I'm, when maybe I can fly up to the moon after the, uh, the person came and brought, man, I love it. I'm, I'm going to do that. Woo! Awesome. Well, thanks for the update, Brody. We'll see you at the dance party. Friends, we would love you to be on the show. Um, you can be involved in different ways. You can be involved with Kid Chat. We love chatting with kids on the show. And you can be involved um, for that. So Cool. We have a segment where we invite kids to send photos, videos. Maybe it's something inspired by the show. Maybe it's uh, just something you love to do. And you want us to know. So we'd love to feature you on the show. Reach out anytime. And right now, friends, it's the time where we have our scavenger hunt. We call this Find It Fast. Are you friends ready? Here's what I invite you to find. Uh, both friends on the show and friends at home, find something that starts with Z for zipper, something that rhymes with zip, and something gray. Go! <laughs> Move around, look around, ask your friends, ask your family. What do you have that you might be able to find? And put it in the in the comments. Or if you're on the cast here of today's show and you want to share what starts with Z, what rhymes with zip, and... Oh, Michael, what you got? Hey, Wimmy. Um, I love this uh, Find It Fast, so I'm going to be really fast. <laughs> okay. Lip rhymes with oh. zip. Yep. I've got this zipper. Oh, yeah. I've got Search my own zip. 
And, whoa, this is the part I always get nervous about. What is, what's the next one? Something that's great. Some, oh, this beer. <laughs> you found out three! Did it, did it, did it. Who else has got something they want to share? Post it in the comments. Brody's got one. What you got, Brody? Uh, I got my sister, Zoe. Hey, yo, oh, Zoe! That starts with Z! <laughs> yeah, something great. Oh, is that, is that a spatula? And, yeah, and lips that start with oh. It is! You got all three! Great job! <laughs> Friends at home, keep looking. Find it fast. Something that starts with Z. Something that rhymes with zip. Something gray. Oh, the music's almost done. We're almost out of time. Of course, you can always keep uh, you can always keep looking anytime. But who else has got something they want to share? Oh, oh, let me think of things that start with Z. Um, zoo! Zoo starts with Z. Oh, a gray calculator, a zipper, and chip. Chip rhymes with zip. Zipper starts with Z. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. Let's see, what else rhymes with zip? Um, hip? You guys, you friends at home, you guys are pretty hip. Oh, oh, what you got, Brad? I got a tip on my oh, pen. Yeah, the, that rhymes, rhymes with zip. zip. It does! Ha <laughs> ha, friends, that's the end of the song. Whew, did you find all three? And it's always fun if you can find something that starts with a Z, rhymes with a zip, and is gray. That's like the trifecta. Uh, whew, man, that was fun, friends. Great job. Hey, uh, I think it's time for the dance party. Let's bring in Michael first. Woohoo, Michael, what a fun show, right? What a great show. Um, friends out there, keep finding it fast. And if you have any recommendations for things we can find fast, Please also send, because I'd love yeah. to hear what friends want to challenge us on, Wemmy. Oh, yeah, because you're right. We try to come up with, like, colors and shapes and rhymes, and it's fun to put new twists on it. Yeah. It is. It is. And yeah. friends can continue to watch us on our Facebook page, or they can visit Um, Yeah, tell friends, tell family members. Let's keep growing this community. And Jim <laughs> is doing such a great job in our partnership with GRPL. <laughs> Kent District Library, um, the CTC, Brody. I'm excited. I'm I'm home. This is family, and um, I'm ready to dance. And we did do the book, right? Check out this book. <gasps> oh no, Michael! Okay, you totally, we got time. I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. How did I miss that? I got. That's, I. That's cool. Okay. Oh man, sometimes it's okay to make mistakes. That's sometimes. okay. Right. It was very fun. It was a very fun distraction. But I'll go ahead and share so please check it out. So I got thinking about zippers, and zippers are also inventions. The first, actually, the first zipper was invented in 1851. So the first version of what we could consider a zipper. Whoa. So that led me to another book that's called Whoosh Lonnie Johnson's Super Soaking Stream of Inventions. Whoa. And this is about the inventor Lonnie Johnson who was a NASA engineer who came up with a million dollar idea for the super soaker water gun. Whoa. So if you want to read a book about inventions, this is a really great one. That is so cool. I love the title. Whoosh. <laughs> Man, and one you said the zipper was invented in 18 what? So there are many versions of what we consider a zipper, but okay. one of the first versions was invented in 1851. Wow. Yeah, it had like a really long convoluted kind of wild name but they caught called a zipper a lot later huh. i wonder how they came up with the word zipper that's a really fun word it is a fun maybe that is it the sound zip zipper maybe. you know i'm not zipper? sure that's a good guess though yeah that's you're right that's my what do you call that a hypothesis exactly that's hypothesis. <laughs> <laughs> thank you bridget so much for the book talk and the explore and learn and uh, explore and create and uh whew, you ready for the dance party Absolutely. Let's do it. Bring everybody back in. Let's dance, friends. Thanks for being with us today. <laughs> Words is brought to you by K 
Kent District Library, and WIMAGE, with additional support by these great partners. Weekdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs>